Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Planet. Today I'm going to share how I use a chat GPT and Gemini AI tools for the Tata Data Analytics Internship 2025. Some of my subscribers have been asking how exactly do you use AI tools to complete your tasks and learn from them. I know a few of you have been waiting for this video, but I couldn't post it earlier. I was busy with personal work and honestly editing takes a lot of time. So sorry for the delay. Now I am finally making this video for those who want to understand the basic concepts and also see how these tools work in practice. If you are interested in learning step by step, pause till the end. And for task one, I first read the entire task carefully once or twice to fully understand it. I never just copy and paste blindly. Then after understanding it, I copied the whole task into chart GPT and started working on these steps. I have already posted other videos on the internship. So if you haven't watched them yet and check our check out my data, Tata Data Analytics Internship playlist. All right, let's see exactly how I use it, chart GPT and Genii tools for task one and how I submitted my work. Before that, I started Study Planet in December 2024. In just four months, I have worked hard to create videos while managing my studies and trainings. I'm already off of way to my goal, 1000 subscribers, 420 subscribers are there. But now I need your help to cross the finish line. The watch time is there, the compliments are coming. But without subscribers, the channel can't grow. Every subscriber matters. I believe in finishing what I start and I am not giving up. Whether it happens this month or next, I will keep making videos for those who want to learn and grow. If you have ever learned something from my videos, please click subscribe. It's free for you, but makes a huge difference for me. Let's reach 1000 subscribers together. Thank you. All right, let's see exactly how I use it, ChatGPT and Gen AI tools for task one and how I submitted my work. First, I read the entire task carefully once or twice before doing anything. I don't just copy paste blindly. For example, in task one, after reading it, I copied the entire here is your task section and pasted it into ChatGPT. Then I asked ChatGPT, please explain this task in five lines. ChatGPT gave me a clear five step breakdown of what to do, where to do. The first step was opening Galerium data set and understanding the columns. And I reviewed the data for missing values, inconsistent and unusual patterns or outliers. I documented my finding in my findings, uh, missing values, inconsistencies and usual patterns or outliers. In the form of bullet points, I wrote a short summary in document. We have to write like this. Chart GPT given first steps. And step three, planning fixes. Next, I made a plan for fixing the data issues. We have to plan if the if we have missing values in data set, what we have to do for that missing values to correct the data. I listed the main problems and suggested solutions like removing the rows, imputation methods, and synthetic data generations. And I also briefly justify why I choose each method. If I choose imputation methods for uh, missing values, why you choose an imputation method? We have to explain in the document or summary report uh, clearly. And step four, identifying risk patterns. Then I identified variables strongly linked to delinquency and explain why they might be important. Then we have to use using Gemini AI plus ChatGPT together in step five. Now here's an important part where I tried uploading the data set directly to chart gpt it said excel file not in standard format it fi file is maybe corrupted so i switched to gemini ai i uploaded the data set there but gemini ai requires very specific prompts so i asked chart gpt to write me the exact prompts for gemini ai here you can see ChatGPT generated a prompt. Then I copy the entire prompt and paste it into Gemini AI. Then Gemini AI gives some 
related data about a data set and missing values like that. If it is to write me the exact prompt for Gemini AI. Here you can see. After giving prompt to Gemini AI, it giving it gives me missing values report, anomalies count, and credit score distribution chart, etc. And I copied all the output from Gemini AI and pasted it back into the chart GPT. Use this data, follow my given template, and make a PDF report. And it generated a ready to up, ready to download PDF, which I submitted as task one. So that's how I used both Gemini AI and ChatGPT together to complete my task one without directly cleaning the data set myself, but still providing a professional, well documented plan and report. If you also want to work efficiently on such tasks, combining tools like these really helps you. And thanks for watching. And many people have been asking me how I clean the data set using ChatGPT and Gemini AI. But the reality is we didn't actually clean it automatically using this tool. ChatGPT can't handle huge data sets like this directly. And while Gemini AI can take the file, it doesn't give you a ready-made PDF or Excel after removing missing values. In this task, our goal was not to clean the data set directly, but to identify missing values, inconsistencies, and anomalies. Mm -hmm. Then we suggested methods to fix them, like removing missing values and using imputation techniques of correcting inconsistencies. So the data becomes clean and consistent before being used for model training. That's the main point. Only accurate, clean data is useful for model training. So we are suggesting methods to clean data, but we cannot clean the data automatically by using ChatGPT or Gemini AI. If you are interested in learning more and also earning certificates, I have just started a cybersecurity internship and I already have a lot of valuable videos on the channel. Go check them out. And for real internships, genuine updates and certificate worthy projects, please subscribe to Study Planet. And I promise you will never regret joining this learning journey. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and share with your friends too. It might help them as well. Thank you for watching.